Um, I think we come from far. We made a lot of progress. Uh, getting close to be number one, but we have to work a bit harder, I would say. But I think uh, it means a lot to us. I think a couple of things. Um, mostly they are, I would say, exposed to uh, one of the more profitable products. Uh, first of all, it was some more, the more product, profitable products for under attack. Um, like credit cards and loans, particularly by the fintechs. Um, secondly, the same thing is, secondly what happens shortly after is that the fee structures or the fee incomes that they always felt for decades kind of comfortable on, they kind of are under pressure. For example, in, in South Africa, there's banks who have a lot of their income from cash collections or so. Uh, suddenly these things become free as an alternative. The third thing I think is the, the era of open banking where um, endpoints, the way how in corporate, for example, interact with, uh, with banks through an API, which is almost similar like how you were getting power through the power outlets in the wall, you know, you, you, you need the current, but you don't see who's behind it. I think the chances of banks become commoditized and have a harder time to differentiate, I think are at least things that keep them awake. The good ones, of course, the good banks try to translate those threats into opportunities because it shakes up the landscape. So. It depends on what side you are, uh, if you're awake or you're excited, I would say. I think big, isn't it? Particularly in retail, yeah. Particularly in retail and wealth, I would say. Particularly on the AI side, robot advising and so. Um, big data for, let's say, for example, simplifying provisioning of, of clients or origination of clients on loans, I think helps a lot. The way how uh, Lending Tree, for example, originates is, is purely by tapping into a lot of data sources outside the bank, correlate those and build a profile on that. I think that's everywhere, I would say. Uh, also there, the least touch area still so far where AI and big data plays a role, where we're trying to innovate now is, is in corporate banking. Um, one of the interesting parts is um, if you for example, correlate big data with APIs, is that the bank has immense amount of, of data available. For example, um, it sees exactly where money is moving. In the world of corporate banking, for example, there's a lot of cross-border trade happening, so they see all those streams of trade and transaction happening. It provides an extensive amount of data that you want to harvest. So what you probably will see is that as a counter reaction to commoditization of open banking, you probably see banks uh, becoming almost publishers of data, similar like Google, to say we have so much information that we have and data, we harvest that, we enrich that, and through APIs we allow others to consume and to process the data for their needs. And it can be just for cases outside of banking, it's just valuable industry or trade uh, kind of information and they want to monetize that uh, on that data so I think yeah back to your question a lot of uh, things right. happening <laughs>